Hello everyone, this is Raymond Freeman with the Fellowship of Christian Webmasters and God's Network of Christian Sites. We're out here today to do a short help video on file organization. We've had some requests to um, show how to make new folders, subfolders, renaming folders, and or organizing the files. So if we will, we'll go ahead and get started by right clicking on the desktop, click New, Folder, you notice it's highlighted here. We can name this, rename this folder, and let's click a vacant spot. If you want to rename it later, you can click there on the name title and edit the, the folder name. Now, once we've got this done, or folder, we can put that in my documents or anywhere. It don't have to be in the desktop. Actually, I, I prefer to keep all my folders in my documents folder that way they're off the desktop top and don't have it as cluttered but we're going to open this test folder we've already got our um, screen size down now let's go ahead and open our pictures all right uh, we're going to work with um, these files right here now what we're going to do if you notice, we've got the test folder open here, and then we've got our images folder here where we're transferring the files from. That way we can just drag and drop them in. By clicking, left click on the uh, image or the file that we want to move, just drag it over here to the test folder. You can also move more than one file at a time by clicking, left clicking a vacant spot, and dragging to highlight. That way we can move all these files over the folder. Let's undo the move on that. There we go. Moves them back over. Now, let's just say we want to select four or five files out of here, but yet we don't want to just click, drag, click, drag. So we're going to use our control button, the CTRL button on the bottom left hand corner of your uh, keyboard. We'll press that. That allows us to select more than one image. Because if we was not to hold our control button, once we highlight one, click on another, it releases the other one. So hold your control button down on your lower left hand corner of your mouse, I mean your keyboard there. And let's select a few images. We'll let go of the control button and drag those over to our new folder. And it's, it's basically the same thing, you know, just a couple shortcuts. Now let's close our pictures make us a subfolder here. Now some of the reasons you may want subfolders, you know, say for instance you're uh, doing sound files for instance, you may um, need a one new folder here for prayers, where you recorded prayers for your uh, website or, or whatever. And then you may need a folder for um, sound effects. Now, on the um, folder, if you miss, happen to misspell or uh, miss rename or need to rename the folder, you can click on the title area of the folder and rename or correct your spelling, or whatever. Um, also, let's drag a couple files in here. You can even go into the subfolders and just continue, you know, making many folders as you need to organize your um, file. So say this is prayers. We go in here. This may be website prayers. And then you may need a new folder because you do something for your church. do something for your church website. Alright? And you can there are ways, you know, that way you can organize your files a little better. You go into um, your new folder here, your sound files. I'm sorry. The prayers. And then you have your website prayers and church website prayers separated. And you don't have to go through a list of files to try to find which file you're looking for. 
it's just a little better way of organizing your uh, files and folders. You can do the the um, new folder, you do new sh shortcuts and all, but um, you can do that new folder in any other folder or on your desktop or whatever, even in some other programs they can make folders to uh, organize stuff a little better. But anyway, that's all we're going to do for today. I hope that this has helped you in uh, learning to organize your files a little better, how to make the new folders, subfolders, and how simple it really is. And um, anyway, this is Raymond Freeman with the Fellowship of Christian Webmasters and God's Network of Christian Sites saying good night and may God bless you.